it's always tempting for government to end up listening to the big players. You know, the CBI have regular dialogues with the Treasury, with FAES, with other organisations. You can often see that the big energy companies will have large lobbying organisations, big legal departments. And I'm very keen as a government that we try to make sure that we're looking at how will everything we do affect new entrants? How will it affect the people that have not yet got into that market and part of that market? And looking at things like business support. So we spend over 20 billion on business support and that's a combination of tax reliefs, some of which are laudable, some of which are slightly less laudable, and other funding through things like LEPs, but also through special um, grants for particular sectors. So you've got things like catapult centres, you've got um, particular areas like the car industry. What we are looking at as part of the spending review is reviewing all of those. Which ones make sense, which ones don't make sense. But I want to look at it through the lens of how do we help new companies start up? Because what I don't want to see is government money used to protect old industries and to stop the new industries thriving. And there is always a danger of that because ultimately it's often the bigger players who have the louder voices, who have more access into government and we need to deal with that.